Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. In this video, we're going to look at the order of survey for the subdivision of a township in the public land survey system. I have a diagram here that shows you that. Uh, it is a little bit complicated, but it's really important to understand if you're going to be surveying in public land survey in the public land survey system. Uh, the, the order of survey, you have to understand the order of survey to understand uh, how the field notes are written and to understand how to put corners, restore corners that are, that are gone. So we're going to go through that. So let me just walk you through the, the different parts of this diagram. So this shape on the outside, this is the township exterior. So if you watched the, the previous video I did, I, I told you how they came up with the township exteriors. So on the township exterior, there is a section corner every mile and a quarter corner every other mile, okay, all the way around. So when they start the subdivision of the township as a general rule, this blue line and all these square corners are in. Okay, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to take the township and they're trying to divide it into these 36 smaller one mile squares. These are called sections. Okay, so before we get into the order of the survey, let's just talk about how these sections are numbered. Okay, it's called as the ox plows. So it, it winds like a snake or like an ox plowing a field. So one, two, three, four, five, six, drop down. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, drop down, 13, 14. So you can kind of see it makes this sidewinder pattern. That's how the township is numbered. They're all numbered the same way. They all start in the top right or northeast corner at number 1 and end at the southeast or bottom right corner at section 36. Okay, and I don't know why they did it this way, but they start the survey in each township, a regular township, so sometimes townships are surveyed in pieces or uh, there's weird stuff going on that changes the order of survey. But in a, in a typical township, they start right here at this corner. So they find this corner and they run astronomic north, 40 chains, and they set this corner here, this quarter corner. So you can see I actually have the number one here. This is the first line surveyed in the subdivision of, this, of the township. So they go up, they set the quarter corner. And they come up and they set this section corner. Okay, now, when they go east-west, it's a little tricky. What they do is they come over, you see I have this gray line here. Okay, this is called a random line. So they're just, they're taking their best guess. They run due east on their line. They set a temporary marker here at the quarter corner at a half mile, 40 chains. Then they come over and they try and find this section corner. And what they do when they, because you got to remember, this one's already set, right? They got set when they when they did the survey of the township. So when they find this corner, what they what they decide is how close did we get with our line? In other words, they want to know does this square close within some tolerance? Okay, and there, it's called the limits of closure. It's in the it's in the BLM survey manual. And if they got close, then they just come back to their temporary marker and they set a permanent corner here. If, if they didn't get close, then they adjust it. They move this mark up or down to make this section close within a reasonable amount. And so that's that's this brown line. They're coming back. So we say they go east on a random, find the corner. They come back west on the true line, and they adjust this quarter corner position. Okay, and then what they do is they basically repeat that pattern all the way up this row. So they, they come back here. They go astronomic north, half a mile, set the quarter corner. Astronomic north, another half a mile, set the section corner. They go east on random, set a temporary temporary marker here at the quarter corner, find the section corner on the township boundary, run back true, correct this if needed, and they keep doing that all the way up. Okay, now they stop that pattern. It change well, they don't stop. It changes a little bit when they get to this last row of sections in the township. And that's because now we're going to close on two existing boundaries, or what we call senior lines. So when we get up to this, so they run north, set the quarter, run north another half a mile, set the section corner. Okay, now they go east on a random, just like they did before. They find this, they come back west on a true. Okay, but now instead of running on a true north line here, because we're up against this north line of the township, they run another random. So they go random north a half a mile, set a temporary marker where they think the quarter corners be going to be they close on this exterior section corner okay if they're within 
If, if they close well, they just come back, set a permanent corner at that location. If they don't close well, then they run back down a true and they adjust the location of the quarter corner, set a permanent monument. Okay? And they repeat that across this north tier. Okay, so after they set this corner, where do they go? They go all the way back down to the bottom and they start that same process over here at the south west corner 35. They run that same pattern all the way up. They do the same thing on all these sections. These, these sections on the north tier get an extra random line. Okay? Now, the pattern changes again when we get over to this west row of sections in the township because now we're closing on the east line. I'm sorry, we're closing on the west line of the township. So let's just walk through how this goes. So they finish up here. They come down. They start here on the southwest corner, 32. They go astronomic north a half a mile, set the quarter corner. They go astronomic north another half a mile. They set the section corner. And now they go east on a random line, set the quarter at the half mile, temporary marker, come over. They see how they close on their own corner. Okay. If they're close enough, they come back and set that as a permanent monument. If they're not close enough, they run true line back, adjust this quarter corner, set it, and come back to where they started. Now, in the other row, the other columns of sections, they would go, they would then go north. But this time, because we're on this last column of sections, they don't do that. Now they go west on a random line, set a temporary marker for this quarter. Come over here, find the exterior section corner that was set on this West Township boundary. Okay. If they're close, they come back, make this a permanent monument. If they're not, they run back east on a true line, adjust this quarter corner, come back to the section. And they repeat that pattern. You can see the way it's numbered here, right? 45, 46, 47, up to 48. Then they repeat 49, 50, 51. They do that all the way up. So they get to this last section that they need to that create, section six, which is special. Okay? And in this one section, they actually run three random lines as they do the subdivision. So they come up the half a mile, set the section, they go east on a random, west on a true, west on a random, east on a true, then they go north on a random south on a true because when we creating section six here we're closing on three existing corners this one's been set this one's been set this one's been set that's why we went random and true on all these lines here and that is the order of the subdivision of a normal township i've got the numbers here you can see in the video that show you with a little legend here and that is how they subdivide the typical township.